this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the official Discovery Channel website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up. Sorry I'm coming to you a bit late. I was at a giant nerdy science conference meeting thing in Chicago all weekend, but I did post some cool updates from there. That's on my blog, Space Cisco. If you're on YouTube, very easy to get to. Look to your right, the More Info button, and there's a link in there, and it'll take you right to the blog. If you're on iTunes, or maybe you're watching this from your iPod, you can get to my blog at the URL blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco. So uh, you, make sure you go to the blog too because I'm going to be pointing out a bunch of links to you in my three things this week. So the first thing I want to tell you about is the Earth. Okay, so we have the Earth. It looks all pretty and pristine and this is how we normally think of the Earth, but that's not the case at all. It's a garbage dump. Check this out. This is uh, all the trackable space to be floating around the Earth and this includes satellites and pieces of satellites and pieces of those pieces, just thousands upon thousands of pieces of stuff flying around at thousands of miles an hour. That's really bad news. And in fact, last week, two satellites collided in orbit, which is really bad news because that means thousands of more pieces were added. So you had an old Russian satellite and a new uh, U.S. communication satellite, and they went kind of like this, broadside, blam, and you have all these pieces flying over the place. So that's my first bit of news for you, and that's really bad uh, because I can do stuff like this. Just the tiniest little speck of anything traveling at 10,000, 15,000 miles an hour can do mega damage. This is a radiator on a space shuttle that was recently damaged, uh, so that's really bad news. Um, and that's the first bit of news. Now the second bit of news concerns fallout from that. Everybody likes the Hubble Space Telescope. It brings back the most amazing images of space, helps us solve the universe's mysteries, yada, yada, yada. Um, the NASA is planning on sending up a mission May 12th to do the final Hubble repair, Hubble repair mission. They want to add some new instruments, add a new camera, kind of boost it back up in the orbit that's supposed to be. But this mission may be in jeopardy. Um, all that space debris that was added could raise the risk above what NASA is willing to accept to send people out there and fix the spacecraft. You know, because obviously you don't want this happening on somebody's spacesuit. Um, it's called instantaneous death. So that's really bad news. I hope they still launch the mission, and in fact, that's my sense that they will, because I've talked to a few people at NASA and Hubble, and they said I wouldn't worry about it exactly right now. So, third bit of news, and this is the last thing for you, concerns this guy. This is the icy moon Europa. This is floating around Jupiter. And what you see, all these cracks in here, this is all ice. The surface of this moon is all ice, and in fact, it's probably one of the best places to look for life in the solar system aside from the Earth. And in fact, NASA and the European Space Agency agreed that they're going to send a mission to Europa to orbit around this planet, and possibly even put a lander on the surface. So that's really excellent news. Europa is a really great case where you can probably look for life other than uh, life on Earth in the solar system. And the uh, second part of that is they also approved another mission to Saturn's moon, Titan. It's kind of a muddy, organic, soupy kind of place, and this is what they envision it to look like. You know, sort of a balloon that will orbit around the, uh, the atmosphere of Titan, because the atmosphere is really thick. In fact, it's twice as thick as it is here on Earth, so that's pretty interesting. And uh, this is sort of the, uh, an ocean of methane, which is a, a gas that's, uh, you know, gas on here on Earth, but it's a liquid when it's really chilly on Titan. So that's your uh, weekly wrap-up for the week, and thank you for joining. Make sure you visit my blog at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space disco for all the links to the stuff I'm pointing out. Thanks for joining. Bye.